Hi, I'm Mary Allen, Community Development Manager with the City of Casa Grande. The City of Casa Grande has an owner-occupied housing rehabilitation program through the Arizona Department of Housing Community Development Block Grant through HUD. Our program is designed to help homeowners with safety and code issues such as electrical, plumbing, roofing, foundation issues, anything that maybe would be cost prohibitive for families to um, cover on their own. I want to introduce my staff that help with all of the intake paperwork and the process through the whole process. I have Felicia Rodriguez and Nancy Crouch. These ladies are the ones that take all the paperwork, the intake paperwork, and make sure that we're meeting all of our requirements through our grant funders to make sure that we're in compliance and we stay in compliance, keeping families eligible and making sure that title is cleared and all of the little nuances that people just kind of take for granted. So I want to thank you ladies very much for your help. If anybody is interested in applying for our program, you can check our, out our website at casagrandeaz.gov and look for the owner-occupied housing application. Thank you. Hi, I would like to introduce our homeowner, Monique Parker. Monique, can you tell us a little bit about what prompted you to come to the city to apply for the program? Well, I just had so many issues with the house that I couldn't afford to do on my own. If it might have been like one or two little projects, I probably could have done it, but because there was so many things wrong with my home, I felt like I needed some help. So. What, what were your main issues when you applied? Um, I would say my roof was the worst because obviously once that leaks, everything gets messed up from that. So then I had drywall issues, my pipes were all bad, um, pretty much just everything was going wrong and stuff. So. Yeah. You had some massive um, plumbing issues yes. and electrical issues, so yeah. I electrical hope you're happy. But the main thing is, is I know a lot of people, um, they, they're concerned about the time frame. They want to come in, they want us to help them right away, which we would love to, but we can't. How was the process for you? Well, it was a very long wait, but it was well worth it because, I mean, it's beautiful and now my home's going to probably be standing for a lot longer than if it wasn't done by you guys, so. Well, was, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to introduce George Mesa, our foreman for the project. George, can you tell us a little bit about what you did at this, this job? Well, on, on this house, we did a uh, only underground plumbing. Uh, we just reconnected some of the overhead plumbing because it was redone before. Uh, only electrical wiring, new box, panel box. This one, the only issue that we had was uh, sewage. The sewage was interconnected with the rest of the houses. So what we did, we had to hand dig the side from the from the front, almost from the front of the house all the way to the back of the house, hand dig it, and then from there we dug it with the machine all the way to the street, so we put a new uh, three inch line. Um, that was just one of the things on this one. It was not scheduled to get stuckled, but we decided to stuckle it. We think it'll look a little bit better. Um, what else? I think that's it. That was uh, like one of the main things that we had here. Well, you definitely have torn down all of the... Yeah, we, there is a, on the kitchen, the kitchen was probably quarter of this, we took the wall down. Uh, we extended the kitchen by, I wanna say almost 20 feet, 20 feet. So we made the kitchen a lot bigger. Uh, same thing with the underground plumbing, uh, the bathrooms, we, tile the bath we took the old tile, uh, the, old, the old tile off, put new tile, uh, new tubs, new uh, shower, new cabinets, new vanity, so. Again, Monique is pretty much getting a brand new house that should exactly. last her another 30, 40 years, hopefully. Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. So. so the challenges, too, you also had challenges with the windows. You had some challenges the, with getting our, products. Our challenge with the window, it's the it's the window, the, mass, the, the living room window. That thing's like 13, 14 feet long. So we had, spe we had special order that thing in three sections, but the, the company ordered in one section. So the company that we ordered from broke it like two or three times. <laughs> So finally they brought it over here and it took five of us or six of us to put that window and we almost, we almost cracked it ourselves. So this thing should be ready to go. We, we went with the, instead of this house going with the six panel doors, we went with the one panel door, which is, it's a, it's a door that looks like the 60s, 60s, 70s. So I think that looks pretty cool. We went with the three inch baseboard instead of the three, the three step colonial baseboard, a little bit bigger, bigger baseboard. Uh, same thing with this door. There is a big glass here. We, we framed it, we put these French doors. Um, I think that's about it that we, that I could think of. So, oh, the other thing was the roof. We yeah. had to reply with the whole roof because uh, it was not allowed to shingle on top of these planks. So we had to reply with the whole thing. That was another setback right there. So. Well, thank you. It looks beautiful. It's 
I'm so happy for Monique to finally get to move into her house. So we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're here today to dedicate a new home, a redone home, mm -hmm. but it's basically brand new. Uh, I've been in it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a beautiful home. Yes, it's it's you. big. It is very big. And uh, <laughs> I wish I had a kitchen that big. So anyway, it's uh, this is an amazing uh, project. And uh, thanks to George and his company, and mm -hmm. and thank you to mm -hmm. you for applying and mm -hmm. and for you doing all the thank you. all the work for this. But uh, these are community block grant dollars that we get from the federal government. Uh, that help us uh, do these kinds of projects. So it's always good to see the outcome, you know, the, the final product when we get done. It's, it's, very, uh, it's very cool. I mean, I, I, you know, mm -hmm. from, from a house that you're, you're, you had leaks and mm -hmm. dry, probably dry rot, I'm sure, in some spots <laughs> because I know what water can do. And uh, so this is an amazing uh, final product and I, I, and I, I hope you're proud of it because it, it, it really does look it looks beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. So congratulations. Thank you. And uh, congratulations to your team as well. So thank you and thank you George for your team. So let's get this uh, show on the road. I'm gonna let you cut it. It's very sharp. <laughs>